Hi! Welcome to the life of a Latina engineer, a place where we talk about engineering school, first jobs, and engineering internships. In today's video, I will be discussing about why I chose to start a small company, especially the company that I am working at, as my first job after college. But before we get to the video, be sure to click the like button so that I can reach more engineering students and I can keep creating content like this. Now, let's get to the video. So a little bit of background and I will give you a lot because I know a lot of people here might have already watched some other videos. So I am a mechanical engineering graduate, but I am working as a manufacturing engineer. I've been working in this position for a year and a half and I work at Method Electronics in the Chicago area. So why I decided to work here and how did I get my job as I was finishing my career? So during my studies, I did two internships and they were both in the same company. However, while the company might be a big company, it has different smaller divisions that act almost as independent companies. So I was able to intern in two of the branches that the main company has. The two divisions that I worked for were completely different and they were different in size. The first one was smaller, the second one was a little bit bigger, but yet nothing compared to a main industry or any other big company that have big production in millions of parts. For the company that I'm working for, we manufacture bus bars, cables, heat sinks, and chill plates, but our quantity varies every single time. We can go up to create a prototypes to make quantities of five or ten pieces, up to maybe a thousand and that is more rarely and typically in smaller parts. So we typically stay within quantities of hundreds per batch every time we manufacture and we do custom parts so it's something that is always changing. We only have a few products that are our products but most of our products are per the customer, per their request, per what they're needed, we design the bus bars or they ask us for what they're looking for and then we go from there. So in the second place that I intern, which is the Power Solutions Group Division, I was about to be a senior, so it was the summer between my junior and my senior year. I interned for the whole summer and then I went back to school. Before I went back to my fall semester, after that summer was ending, I was offered a quality position. However, I declined it because I knew quality wasn't something that I really liked and I didn't want to start my first job with something that I wasn't so sure. So, And since I still had a whole year, I wanted to know if I could find other places where I could work at. However, as I was getting closer to start my spring semester, they called me back and they asked me if I wanted to take a manufacturing position that had just opened. And this is when I took it. I knew it was something different than what I wanted to start. I wanted to be a design engineer, but however, I thought that manufacturing could help me become a better design engineer. So I actually started this position during my last semester of college. I was taking two classes at my college, so I was able to do about 30 hours as my engineering position and then do my other two classes the other days. So I was going three times a week to the company to work. Now, why did I take this position? Why I decided to stay with this company rather than selecting a different company that I was researching during my senior year? And that's what we're gonna get into now. So the first reason, which I pretty much already covered, is that I had already interned there. So I knew what the company looked like, how people work together, more or less what was going to be expected of me and I had a chance to evaluate whether it was a good fit for me or if it was something that I didn't like. In my case, I felt really comfortable, I liked the environment, I liked the place and I just felt really comfortable where I knew that I would be happy starting up and might actually be a smaller change than going to a completely new company, maybe a big company where I didn't know anyone and go through that change from going to college to start in a full-time position as engineering. So like I said, I already knew my co-workers. While I was an intern, I got to meet most of the engineers, which we actually earn a lot. We might be about 25 engineers in total, including quality, manufacturing, design, and I think that's it. For us to be a power solutions group team, we actually don't have any electrical engineers except for, I think, one. So as I started my full-time position, I already kind of knew how all the paper work. I kind of already knew how the system was in order to release part numbers, how the meetings went, and pretty much I was really familiar with it. So it was really easy for me to go back. Uh, actually, also when I was interning, I had some coworkers that would tell me like, oh, are you going to come back here once you graduate? That'll be great, you know? And it was kind of funny that I went back and I didn't want to tell anyone. I didn't want them to know that I was going back. So it was, you know, I already had some friendships built in that company. Another thing that was really important is that I already knew my boss. When I was an intern, I was an intern that was reporting to the same person that I am reporting now as a manufacturing engineer. But if I had taken, for example, the quality position, I would have been reporting to someone else and I would have had a chance to also know my boss 
but I had already work underneath my boss and I knew that relationship. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that the relationship that you have with your boss is really important. For example, if they trust you and they can get you new challenges, then it will help in your growth. So with me, sometimes he gives me a new project that I might not know a lot about, but he works through it with me so i i get to learn and then he trusts me enough to where he will say like let's roll with it let's see how it works and if it doesn't we will learn from that experience and you will be more prepared for next time and i think that is something that is really important for whatever job you have that you have a good relationship with your boss so i was able to experience that before then and now when i was coming i knew that i was gonna be you know comfortable with that Okay, so other things besides knowing what I was expecting from there and knowing the people that worked there was that it was, while well, it was a small company, it was a place that had a full complete production floor next to the offices where I would be working as an engineer. So I also knew that being an engineer, I wasn't going to be in the office only at all times. I was going to have that opportunity to be working with the production floor and learning about how things were manufactured. And that is something that I think is really important to know as an engineer, especially if I want to move into design engineering later, because I will have a full understanding of how things are manufactured and that is one of the main things to keep in mind when you're creating something that is gonna be easy to make that is not gonna be over expensive to make and there's no better way to learn it that knowing how things are made and really seeing them in front of you so when I say we had a full production floor we had a lot of things well they're not big departments like we have a hundred machines or the same one but we had a little bit of everything so we had plating we had powder coating we had machining we had fabrication department that worked with sheet metal. We had the burring, uh, forming, uh, we had assembly, lamination. We had a total of at least 10 departments and each department is so unique that there is so much to learn from. Another thing is that most of our products are made of sheet metal and that is something that I didn't really have a lot of experience. It is something that they didn't really teach us in school. They taught us how to use other works. So for example, I didn't really know how to use sheet metal in SOLIDWORKS. So that was something that I learned from the start. I started learning actually during my internship. And now that I am a manufacturing engineer, and I'm also able to help with the design engineer, I get to work with sheet metal and I get to understand how to work with it. So that was also really great because it didn't limit you to one single thing. Like maybe a big company would only focus on plating. And that's what I'll, you will see every single day rather than being exposed to all these different departments. Another important thing, and I think this one is really special, is that the company was pretty much bilingual. Well, not everybody spoke English and Spanish and most of our documents are completely in English. There is about 80% of the employees that speak Spanish. So in my day to day, I am talking about 50% Spanish during the day. And to me, that is a lot. It is something that keeps me connected to who I am. To me, Spanish would always be easier to talk. I will always have that accent in English and it would always maybe be faster for me to to just tell you something in Spanish right away when you really can't explain it. Sometimes you struggle with the words and the first thing that comes to your mouth is Spanish and I am able to go ahead and be like, this is what I want to say. So also other things that I see is that it makes it easier for me because I am one of two engineers that speak Spanish that are able to talk, for example, for the production floor that maybe some of them might not have the most fluent English and I am able to be like, you know, let's just talk about it in Spanish. It is going to be easier for you. It is going to be easier for me. And if we need to do any paper or talk to someone else, then we can do that. But it gives me that freedom. And it also helps me out a lot to make my work easier. So it helps me practice, but I do enjoy it. And I love that I have that flexibility at work. Talking about flexibility, it is another reason why I chose it. Being a small company, we are more able to pick, for example, our work hours are more flexible. There are some people that start at 6 in the morning and leave at 3, 3.30. There are people that start at 7 and leave at 4 or 3.30 depending on their launches. Or there's people that get there at 9 and leave all the way until 5 p.m. And that's what works for them. And everybody just picks their work hours as long as we overlap at some point so that we can have a meeting, so we can discuss things that we might need to resolve. It works and we have the flexibility. In my case, I like to start early so that I can start early. So normally I go during the morning hours. So we're usually at seven, but sometimes I get to be there at six when everybody starts in the production floor so that I can start at the same time if I need to help them with the project. But I can also stay later if we need to use some of the machines after production is done to do some testing or prototypes. So that is really cool that we get to do that. I also have more freedom with the projects that I do because it's a small company. We don't have as many, 
we don't have as many engineers so even though I'm a manufacturing engineer I can help out with the same team which I actually do very often and that gets me to learn to maybe a position that I might want to take in the future so I enjoy and I take full advantage of the opportunity to be able to take on different roles other things that I have learned about are, for example, costing. I learned the whole process of how to cost new products, new buzzwords that we that we manufacture in the company. So I think that will be something, an opportunity that I am able to do here, that we are a small company, rather than being in a big company where everybody has their assigned job and they might only be doing what they're assigned. And for example, if I was a design engineer, if I had gone in that position right off college, I would only be working from a computer creating designs, 3D models, uh, drawings and maybe I wouldn't actually ever get to see the manufacturing floor. So it is something that I really appreciate that I have the opportunity to do. Now the last reason is that since we're not that many, I am able to get more responsibilities. As manufacturing engineers, we're only two, it is my boss and then there's me. And then our other manufacturing engineer is more of automation and electrical. So I do get that chance to be working with them every day, to be sharing some of the projects, to maybe take some of the responsibilities that maybe if we have a company where it was my boss and then there was like five of other people that were like me, it would be a little bit harder to be able to get those opportunities. So I feel like I'm always able to take on challenges that try to prove myself that I could take on bigger projects or just learning more and more to become a better engineer, to become more prepared for future positions or roles that I might take on in the future. So yes, I have loved that I have picked a small company. I am really comfortable with the position I am. I like the challenge that I can take on every day, the flexibility that I have. And that is something that I would recommend for an engineer that is just getting out of school to get the most experience that they can. I don't think there is a right or a wrong place to start at. I am just giving you my experience that I really enjoy and I think it will be a good experience for any engineer. So let me know if you're interested in starting a small company or if you're already working, what company, what type of company did you start working at? Is it a big company? Is there a small company? How many engineers work with you every single day? Let me know below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload videos. Most of the time I upload a video every single Saturday, but every now and then I put another video between the week. So definitely if you get the notification, you will know of any other extra video that I might upload. If you want to learn more tips about engineering school, college, or internships, be sure to follow my Instagram account at Latina Engineer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!